everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're looking at some leg holsters today. So these are Spec Ops leg holsters, uh, in particular left-handed leg holsters, which is a little more uncommon that you'd see. Most people are right-handed, and so you've got a drop leg right-handed leg holster, but these are left-handed leg holsters. We've got two different versions. We've got the Eliminator version right here, and then the Deluxe version over here. So the pouch assembly for both pistols is the same. It's a very large open um, pistol holster. You can see how big these are right here. And that's because they're designed to fit the larger handguns in paintball, like uh, Ariacon, Armatech, the Delta 68s. Um, I've got a list over here, War Sensor, uh, Core ZX. Uh, we've all seen these bigger, like the Zeus pistol. They're bigger pistols, and most um, holsters just don't fit them. So these are designed with that in mind for the larger pistol. Uh, they've got the strap that comes up over the top right here, which you can snap and hold it in place, and that is adjustable on the back side. So if you need to tighten it down, make that a little bit more snug, you can do that. Um, so let's look at first just the basic version right here. So the Eliminator. We've got that strap coming up over the top right there to uh, basically secure the top of the holster. We've got this section right here, which is gonna go up to a couple different things. It can go up to a normal belt on your waist if you're just running one through like the loops on the top of your pants, or if you have a load-bearing vest and you have that belt along the bottom of the load-bearing vest, then you would wanna run this up to that particular spot and not the belt around your waist. So. It's, or the belt in your pants, sorry, because they're both around your waist. So it's gonna take a lot of the weight of the holster on your leg off of, um, uh, or well, I shouldn't say off of your leg, but it doesn't make it so you're relying on the straps around your thighs to keep it up. The straps around your thigh are gonna keep it close to your thigh so it doesn't bounce around when you're running, but for keeping it from dropping down your leg, this is where it's at. This is either going to your load bearing vest assembly or the belt in your pants. So that's up to you right there. Uh, so both of those, we flip them over, have a little pass through on the back side right here. We can flip those up, run it underneath here, and then bring it around, bring it around town and tighten it down on whatever you're, whatever you're putting it on, most likely your legs. Hey, get off there. All right. So We've got two straps for the thigh, one for the belt, one for keeping the, uh, the pistol in place. And then we've got pouches right here. So this and this will hold a couple different things. So I've got some 10 round tubes right here. I can take some 10 rounders and put them in there. You don't want to be stuck when you're out there playing. So I can fit, well, I might be able to fit four in here. Let's see. Let's see how many I can fit inside here. And I guess that all depends on the size of the tubes you're using too, like how thick they are. You got those thick bores. But that's, I mean, that's 10 or four right there. And they're pretty crammed, but you could do it. Obviously you could put that in there and you could do some 10 rounders. Or if your pistol uses a magazine assembly where you're, instead of using 10 rounders to fill up the top section of the magazine or the uh, uh, the pistol. You've got actual mags. You could fit one or two. I would say one down inside of there. I wouldn't try to do more than that. But we could fit four in there. We're kind of crowded putting them in there, but could do it. If we just keep them more towards the top here. Let's see what's going on. Sounds like there's people on our roof. A lot of banging around going on over there. Or really big rats. Oh yeah, that's easier to get them in that way. So you can do four right there. And then if we go to this section, you could use this as a little pouch just to hold some stuff. Or there is elastic banding inside there. You can see it. And this will hold securely three different 12 gram CO2s down inside here. So if you're using 12 grams, you can mount those down in there as well. You can put another one right there on that side and then secure that up. So you don't have that rattling of CO2 canisters when you're out there maybe trying to be quiet. So that is our standard one right there. It's gonna hold 
up to four, you know, three more comfortably, two obviously, but four, you can get them definitely in there uh, on that one. So let's move over to the deluxe version. So the deluxe version has, I'm gonna say two there and two there. So we could still do four on this one. And then underneath this little piece right here is just enough space for one and two 12 grams. And then you can wrap those up to keep them secure, keep them from slipping in or out right there. We've got the same kind of strap assembly we've got going up to the belt. We've got our clip for uh, holster lockdown, you want to call it, or um, so your pistol didn't fall out. And then the same kind of leg assembly coming around, looping it through, and then coming back on itself and tightening it down. Um, they're stitched uh, incredibly well together, so they're going to hold up through all sorts of outdoor rugged play, whether you're crawling around in the bushes, hopping over concrete, hiding in buildings, whatever you happen to be doing, these are going to hold up for you. Definitely, you want to rig it up to a belt of some sort, though. Do not rely on the thigh wraps to keep the holster in place. Hook it to a belt. Um, so the deluxe version, check the website for color availability. Right now, um, we're looking at the woodland version and then the all drab version, but there might be more colors available at the time of the viewing of the video. So check the website for availability color-wise. Same thing for the standard version right here, the Eliminator. We're looking at like a Marpat version right here, a, digi, uh, a digital woodland, a standard woodland, a black, and an olive drab right here. Uh, but again, might be more colors available, might be less colors available when you happen to watch this video. I don't know. So we'll just have to see. So anywho, special ops holsters, both the Eliminator version and the Deluxe version, multiple colors available. Get yours today at ansgear.com.